Video game development is a funny thing. Sometimes great ideas go perfectly to plan and end up being really cool. And sometimes a mechanic might be overlooked, resulting in a glitch or a bug. Then there are the times where a mechanic being overlooked, resulting in a bug, actually ends up creating something really cool. And that's what we call mission failed successfully. A couple of years ago, we did a list on video game bugs that worked so well they became features. And in this list, we're breaking down 10 more examples where a technical misstep in a dev studio panned out just fine. I'm Jess from What Culture, and here are 10 video game bugs that became features. Number 10, the Skyrim space program. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. You don't have to play Skyrim for 100 hours to know giants are not to be trifled with. I mean, they're giants after all, and they hit about as hard as you'd expect them to. Okay, maybe a little harder than you'd expect them to, given that a glitch related to the game's physics engine means if you get hit by a giant, you're going soaring right up into orbit. Skyrim launched positively riddled with bugs, so this one was in good company, but Bethesda and players alike seem to agree that this one was so funny that it should be kept in the game. It also had the nice added effect of keeping even brave players wary of wandering giants. Plus, aside from the hurt pride, it's not a bad view from 150 meters up in the air. Thus began the meme of the Skyrim space program, because rockets are too expensive, obviously. Number nine, Creepers, Minecraft. Turns out the iconic creepers of Minecraft weren't supposed to be creepy at all. In fact, they were supposed to be pigs. But when a programming error occurred which reversed the length and height dimensions, they ended up much taller than they were supposed to be. Thus, their extraordinarily weird form was brought to life in late 2009. Instead of just having a laugh at the weirdly tall pig, correcting the mistake and moving on with coding, it was decided to turn the creature green and lean into the weirdness. Thus, the creepers we know and hate came into being and would begin horrifying players by spawning in the dark and attacking those who stray too close for years to come. Number eight, an accidental revolutionary difficulty mechanic, Space Invaders. This bug turned feature is not only the oldest example on this list and possibly the most iconic, it also fundamentally changed the way that games are now played today. And it happened because of a mistake. In 1978, the result of Space Invaders set the stage for the games industry in a whole host of ways. It inspired some of the greatest games to come and some of the most intrinsic mechanics in the genre. It also had a fascinating approach to difficulty that would change the way that difficulty mechanics worked in games. But this approach actually began as a glitch. This isn't to put down the incredible work of Tomohiro Nishikado, who even created his own hardware with which to run the game. Unfortunately, Nishikado still couldn't get his aliens moving as fast as he wanted them to, as the processor couldn't keep up. Of course, once the player started offing aliens and reducing the number of sprites on screen, it was easier for the processor to keep up and the sprites moved faster. Inevitably, this increased speed made them more difficult to hit, thereby making the game trickier the more you played and the more you succeeded. Nishikado was clever enough to see this as a win and kept it in the game, establishing the first example of a dynamic difficulty curve. Number seven, skiing, Star Siege Tribes. Wildly popular cult favorite FPS Star Siege Tribes was the first game in the Tribe series. It was released by Sierra in 1998 and offered up a squad-based multiplayer playground with a story set in the 40th century. Players are equipped with various weaponry and, crucially, a jetpack. While there were plenty of traditional ways for players to get around levels, it was discovered that speedily tapping the jump button while running down a particularly steep slope would result in the character going really, really fast. The exploit was called skiing, and clever players used it in conjunction with the jetpack to absolutely blitz through the game maps. While in most other games, an exploit like this would have elicited a good laugh from the developers and have been promptly patched out, Dynamix decided to make it synonymous with the tribe's name and playstyle. This reputation went as far as to extend to the branding upon release of the latest tribe's title, Tribes Ascend, which was slated as the quote, world's fastest shooter. In Tribes 2, the studio adapted and made maps actually accommodate skiing, so it was no longer a glitch, but a necessity for competitive play. Pretty impressive, really. Number six, the movement system, Warframe. Much like Dynamics, Digital Extremes is a developer that not only cares what its audience wants to see, they're willing to make huge core changes to the game to make it happen. In this case, it's yet again really what put Warframe on the map and kept it there. The glitch in question concerns the game's physics engine. Players discovered that they could jump and helicopter around in the air, reaching massive speeds. 
This was dubbed Zorncoptering and was achieved through stacking speeds. Despite absolutely breaking the game, the dev studio decided that instead of removing the glitch altogether, they would make it better. This totally overhauled the game's movement systems, introducing new options like the bullet jump and air gliding maneuvers. You couldn't go as fast as the original glitch, but the love players had for it totally informed the evolution of the movement mechanics after that point. Number 5. The Mist – Silent Hill It's hard to imagine Silent Hill without its iconic fog, and yet it largely eventuated because of issues with the processing power and hardware. While this one is more of a feature that blossomed out of hardware limitations than a true glitch, it achieved a whole lot more than solving a technical issue. The fog was largely used in order to take pressure off of the hardware so it would only have to render the area immediately around the player. Though there may have been some intention for the fog to be mechanically and narratively important, as its use in the fog world was inspired by Stephen King's novella The Mist, it ended up being positively crucial to the game's cult favourite atmosphere. The horror of not knowing what lay inside the fog and having to push forward through it even though you were in a state of constant dread is really what helped establish Silent Hill as a survival horror masterclass. Number 4. The Spy – Quake Team Fortress In 1996, a small group of Aussies made Team Fortress, a mod for Quake. Within this mod, there was a glitch where a player's name could show up as the wrong colour, making it look like said player was on the opposite team than they actually were. In this case, the bug was an easy fix and it did indeed get fixed. But that's not the end of the story. The devs were inspired by the glitch to create a character class based on deceiving the opposite team into thinking they were a member of it. And thus, the spy was born within an update called Quake World Team Fortress, capable of impersonation and very literal backstabbing. Of course, this class would eventually carry forward into Team Fortress 2 as well. Number 3. Rocket Jumping – Quake Moving on to a different game, but just barely, let's talk about rocket jumping in Quake. Staying with the trend of a few entries on this list, it turns out you can really get a wriggle on through the game world if you can play with the game's physics engine just right. In Quake, if you timed a jump just right while shooting a rocket into the ground, you could shoot up into the sky like you've just been smacked in the face by a Skyrim giant. Instead of plummeting to your death, though, this boost would give you a great combat advantage and the ability to reach new areas of the map. Of course, timing your jump wrong could result in your untimely death, but Quake really embraced the unintended side effects of this glitch instead of just doing away with it altogether. Much like Space Invaders, the glitch paved the way for the mechanic and its usage in a whole host of games post-1996, and it's safe to say that rocket jumping is unlikely to disappear anytime soon. Number 2. Aggressive Gandhi Civilization. In what is mine and many other gamers' favourite bug turned feature in video games, Gandhi in the Civ games gets a little murdery, which if you know anything about Gandhi is not really his IRL deal. In the early Civ games, Gandhi was programmed to have the lowest possible aggression rating of 1, rendering him only able to wage defensive wars. However, when the AI changes their government to a democracy, their aggression level is reduced by 2. For those playing at home, this does indeed mean that Gandhi's rating dropped to minus 1, which is not just super super chill. The negative value glitched in the back end, sending his aggression rating right up to 255, meaning Gandhi ended up with a very very itchy trigger finger on the old nukes. The bug first appeared in Civilization 2, but wasn't fully embraced until Civ 5. Here Gandhi's parameters for building and using nukes are set to the highest possible rating, and he's the only one on that highest possible rating. You know, for the lols. Number 1. Combos – Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior In our number 1 spot we have another bug turn feature that absolutely revolutionised an entire genre of video games, and that's combos. Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior arrived in arcades in 1991, and one of its largest contributions to the genre wasn't even intentional. While Capcom did change the game in a bunch of entirely planned ways, one producer discovered it was possible to cancel animations of particular attacks by trying to initiate a new attack. The outcome here was that said character could land a handful of hits and their opponent wouldn't have time to defend themselves. These attacks were actually ultimately left in the game, as it was decided that these combination attacks were too tricky to pull off anyway, and so they were left in as like a hidden feature. This would prove to be a wild underestimation of determined kids, who made it their life's purpose to discover and learn to pull off 
these combo attacks. By the time Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting came along, Capcom solidified combos as an advertised feature, and Street Fighter 2 would not only count hits in a combo, but grant the player bonus points for their trouble. Nowadays, it's hard to imagine the vast majority of fighting games without combo attacks, so pretty impressive glitch. That's the end of our list, but do let me know down in that comment section if you can think of any other video game bugs that turned into features. As always, I've been Jess from What Culture. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. If you like, you can come say hi to me on my Twitter account where I'm at JessMcDonald. But make sure you stay tuned to us here for plenty more gaming goodness.